Alright man, we back. Goodfellas Sports TV got some breaking news that came in a little while ago and uh John Jones uh got arrested last night or early this morning in uh New Mexico. Allegedly he was drunk and fired off a firearm. So let's talk about it. I put the article from TMZ Sports in the description under article link and um yeah, man, with him having two successful uh, older brothers in the NFL, Chandler Jones, who was sack master, I think he's still with the Arizona Cardinals, and another brother that plays as well, you would think they'd be able to help guide him, but John Jones just lost, bro. You know, and that's just, you know, to be honest, that's the dark side about combat sports. You know, a lot of people don't make the correlation, but a lot of guys in combat sports turn to drugs and turn to alcohol to deal with the fighter's lifestyle, to deal with the pain. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not sure if marijuana is on the ban list for, you know, uh, you know, Vada, USADA, or, you know, overall WADA. But it's, it's, this this story been going on for years. Social media is just blowing up what he doing. You know what I'm saying? We had this story with Frankie Randall. You had different stories with with different athletes that, that, that just have problem with al alcoholism. And it's not because they are, they, they alcoholics by trade It's because it's because of the grind of combat sports, taking punishment and putting the work in and sparring and running on concrete and putting the miles in and strength and conditioning and the fight is too much. And a lot of dudes turn to alcohol to deal with the pain. And I think a lot of them end up having uh, mental issues due to the blows to the brain. So I think I'm not making no excuses for him, but it's, it's just a story that's been told a million times over again. The difference is it's being it's being pretty much popularized for him because it's on it's on social media. You know, with social media, but allegedly it was some shots heard fired around 1 a.m. I think they said in New Mexico time, whatever time that is, Pacific, whatever. And you know, he was in the 2019 Jeep Cherokee. And he had the engine running. And uh, when the cops came, you know, he denied firing the gunshot off. He was, the eyes was messed up. And he failed the sobriety test. They found the blicky, the burner behind, behind in the back seat or whatever. So I don't know if he was too drunk to drive. He was too drunk to know or too impaired to, to lead the scene or whatever. But it's time for him to leave New Mexico. Now, he from Rochester. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the brothers from Rochester, man. Um, he from Rochester, New York. You know, in New Mexico, I heard it's pretty much like a party town in Albuquerque. You know, someplace in New Mexico. And I heard it's a dope town, but it's time for him to leave, man. You know, it's time for him to leave New Mexico. Um, he may need to move in with one of his brothers. You know what I'm saying? And by force. If they both got to jump him, which is going to be hard to do because he an excellent fighter. But they gotta take him under his wing, man. It's too. It's he. He destroying his career over and over again. You know he needs some some mental help, all types of stuff. This ain't normal, bro. This ain't just. He ain't 20 years old. He just got a lot of money and got a lot of accol accolades from MMA and UFC. No, this is a mental problem. You know what I'm saying? He been mentally damaged. His brain is damaged, bro. So he gonna need a chaperone to keep him from doing all this dumb stuff, man. And the alcoholism, I'm telling y'all, that's just that's just that's just something that come with the combat sports a lot of times. I understand people say, well, this guy Floyd don't do it that everybody is different. You know, but it's unfortunate uh, for this. But these brothers, his brothers and his parents need to kind of get control of him right now before he hurts somebody and end up in the pen for good. Cause don't nobody want to see this story end that way. Even the people that hate John Jones, don't nobody want to see this story end with somebody stretch him in the street, or don't nobody want to see this story end. Or somebody, uh, you know, see going to jail for doing something that could have been prevented. Don't nobody, don't nobody want to see that story in that way, you know. And that's just my personal opinion on it. So, I put the article link in the description, praying that he, you know, find help. Hopefully, his brothers and his family get together and give him the help that he need. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to me there if you got business inquiries, sponsorship, video requests, or whatever. Man, appreciate the love. Let me know what you guys think. We get on.